Desdemona. I have a report here. It reads more like a comic book. Apparently, one hell of a fight took place at Green Tech Genetics. Oh? What have you heard? One of our agents took a courser. Alone. Something I'm not even sure Glory could do. And that agent is you. I'm all for one less courser in the world, but why'd you do it? I needed a courser chip. I need the code on it. You have one of their chips intact? Follow me. Now. Decoding a courser chip is a very delicate operation. A million things can go wrong. The least of which is losing the data. Fortunately, we have the right man for the job. Hey, Des. You need something? Tom, we got a courser chip. Whoa! For real? Oh man, it's been ages! You've hit the jackpot with this. Hand over the chip. Let's see what's on it. What can we get off the Courser chip? Those chips have more than just codes on them. Everything from how it's made to what it's made from tells us something about our enemy. One minor detail could mean the difference between life and death for our agents and the synth we're trying to save. Now hand it over and let's get it analyzed. Here you go. All right, Tom, make it happen. All right, little Courser chip. Let's have the circuit analyzer take a crack at you. We're in. Chip accessed. Just poke the analog connectors a little. What? Oh, man, don't, don't, don't crash. Hold it together. Memory hiccup. Here it comes. Encryption algorithms. All right. All right, we're still running. Oh, man, they've added more decimals to the last cipher. This is gonna be... Come on, baby, show me that pattern. Where is it? Wait, they're using the same logarithmic function as the key generator. Oh, man, we got lucky. I got you, you institute bastard, I got you! Software in. Come on. Show me that sweet bass note. Come on, baby. We got a lot of synths in yeah, we got right it. now. We There's got the code! Dangerous. <laughs> Let me load that onto the hollow tape for ya. Good work, Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not sure our luck will hold up next time, Des. And, Agent, I hope that helps you as much as you've helped us. Good work. There's more going on than you know. Trust me. Wasn't sure I'd see you again. You managed to get what you need? I have the code. Suppose I shouldn't be surprised. You did get rid of Kellogg, after all. Not too much of a leap to take down a courser. How'd you manage to get it decoded? The railroad helped me. Oh god, those kooks. I would have expected they'd be too busy trying to liberate vending machines, or setting computer terminals free, or... Sorry. They just have something of a reputation. You're not the only one who's been busy. I did the best I could from memory and things I've overheard through the years. Came up with some schematics for you. Wasn't easy. These hands are ridiculous. Fine motor skills have gone to shit. Here's the symbol explanation. You need to build a device that will hijack the signal the Institute uses to teleport coursers and send you instead. You know the craziest part of the design? That classical music station, that's the carrier signal for the relay. All the data's on harmonic frequencies. You've been hearing it all along. I want to be clear that this isn't my area of expertise. I was bioscience, not engineering or advanced systems or anything. Bioscience? Advanced systems? Divisions within the Institute. Specialized groups working on various projects. It'll make sense later. But if you can build this device and make use of that code, you should be able to override the signal from the Institute's relay. Can you? I mean, can you build it? You have people that can help. This is a lot for one person, even you. This device. 
This will get me into the Institute? Yes, if built correctly. And please get it right. You have to make it in there for both our sakes. And don't you forget our agreement. I've helped you as best I can. If you make it in there, you find that serum. It's my only hope for ever being normal. So you find it. Now go on. Take these and get to work. You do whatever it takes. Call on whoever you know to help you. I'd advise against breathing in these fumes. They smell awful. By now, I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team, according to our scribes. The reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute, and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths, must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. The only logical explanation is that they've gone underground. That's where we need your help. I have a way to infiltrate the Institute, using a device called a Signal Interceptor. So it appears we share a common goal. I'm pleased that you've chosen to build the device with the Brotherhood. Now, indulge me for a moment by satisfying my curiosity. Tell me why you're so eager to get into the Institute. I think... I think they're the ones that kidnapped my son. The Institute preys on the weak to further their own ends. Together? We'll make them pay for their crimes. I'll call ahead and brief Proctor Ingram. Report to the airport, and get to work on your project right away. Treat your power armor well, and it can get you through anything. Elder Maxson said you'd help me build the signal interceptor. So, looks like you're calling the shots around here now, huh? All right, I'll bite. What does your new miracle device do? The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. This machine can hijack their signal and send me instead. Teleportation? Molecular transmission via encrypted RF waves? Okay, even I have to admit, that's genius. This explains why we've been picking up anomalous energy readings all across the Commonwealth. Not to mention how they get their tin soldiers to come out of the damn walls. And this little beauty allows you to literally hijack a return signal. Instead of grabbing the intended target, it grabs you instead. Impressive. Well, you definitely know your stuff. Damn right I do. It's difficult to make out all the details here, but I'm thinking you can get started by building a stabilized reflector platform. It's gonna take a cargo hold full of high-grade metal, but I'm sure that we have plenty of it right here at the airport. Can you give me a list of what I'll need to build this platform? Of course. Here's a list of everything you need to find. You're also going to need a massive power source to get the signal interceptor running.
Any luck building the platform yet? Yes, I'm ready to build the rest of it. Good. Let's move on then. Here's a list of everything we'll need. Now, I know some of that might as well be in Greek, so I'll be around if you have any questions. Can you explain how this thing is actually going to work? According to Virgil's notes, it takes four components to complete the signal interceptor. First, we need a control console to input the code sequence and process the signal. That's the easy part. Second, we have the relay dish. That's for the interceptor part of the name. It scans and grabs the proper frequency we need. Third, and the most complex, is the molecular beam emitter. This is the actual component that translates your matter into energy for transmission. You've already built the stabilized reflector platform, which concentrates and reflects the molecular beam. Oh, one last thing before I forget. It's important that all the components are wired together so all the pieces are on a single grid. Otherwise, this isn't going to work. If you need any help, I'll be over at the build site making some adjustments and calculations. I'd wish you good luck, Knight, but I think we're both going to need it. When it comes to keeping the Pridwin running, I can't talk right now. I have a lot on my mind.
too busy to speak right now. Close. All we need is enough power to fire up the signal interceptor. signal interceptor appears to be complete. Are you ready to put it to the test? You sure Ingram knows what she's doing? Proctor Ingram's managed to keep a 40,000 ton airship aloft for the past five years. I'd say that earns her the benefit of the doubt. That being said, this is the first time we've attempted to directly adapt Institute technology. When we throw that switch, we don't know exactly what's gonna happen. God willing, you'll end up inside the Institute and the mission can continue. What are the details of my mission? I'm glad you asked. Now, I want you to listen very carefully. Once you've entered the Institute, we expect to lose contact. So it's imperative you remember everything I'm about to tell you. About 10 years ago, the Brotherhood began recruiting civilian scientists from the Capital Wasteland to assist with various projects. During this process, we were able to obtain the services of Dr. Madison Lee a noted mind in the field of nuclear engineering. How did the Brotherhood meet Dr. Lee? She was part of a civilian project in the Capital Wasteland that the Brotherhood appropriated. It wasn't difficult to convince her to stay. That said, Dr. Lee's contributions to our cause were instrumental in maintaining order in the Capital Wasteland. After some time, she developed differences with the Brotherhood and exiled herself to the Commonwealth. We're fairly certain that her intent was to make contact with the Institute. What sort of differences? Although she was working with the Brotherhood of Steel, she never formally joined as a scribe. After the Capital Wasteland was secured, she objected to the Brotherhood's continued military presence there. I think she assumed we would just walk away from it all. She was wrong. Your mission is simple. Once you're inside the Institute, we want you to track down Dr. Lee's whereabouts. If you find out that she's still alive, make contact with her and convince her to return to the Brotherhood of Steel. There's a special project we're working on, and it needs her attention. What's this project that needs her attention? Dr. Lee previously worked on a potent weapon for the Brotherhood of Steel. We'd like her to continue where she left off. That's all I can tell you. Listen to me, Knight. I'm well aware that you're risking your life going into the Institute blind. Just keep your mind on the mission, and don't let anything they say sway you from your duty. Good luck. I've checked and rechecked everything. I think the signal interceptor's ready to go. Are you? Let's do this. All right. Head up onto the platform, and we'll see if I can find a signal to lock onto. Pull yourself together and get up onto that platform. Refrain from opening fire inside the Institute. It could jeopardize our entire mission. Let's see. Relays dialed in. Beam emitters warmed up. 
Everything looks green. Let me start scanning for the signal. Cross your fingers. I'm inputting the code now. Wow, there's a heck of a lot of interference and ghosting. It's gonna take a minute or two to lock in. By you the way, this little trip you're taking is a heck of an opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. I put a clever little program on this holotape that'll scan their network and download anything it finds. If you place it in any terminal down there, it'll do the rest. Bring it back to me and I'll see if I can make sense of whatever it found. Well, well, looks like we have a winner. RF wave capture complete. Ramping the emitter. 60%, 80%, emitter spiking but steady. All that's left is to throw the transmit switch. Transmitting in three, two, one. Dr. Stay Lee safe, soldier. If any harm comes to her, I'm holding you personally responsible.